Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon, aka Jordan Pure. Just doing a, a short review here for a modern Onkyo plain old fashioned two channel receiver. Now the unique thing about this is, is that there aren't many receivers out there that are of modern vintage that have a phono preamp in them. Uh, so I just wanted to do an overview on this. This is the Onkyo TX8050. Uh, again, a regular two channel, no surround sound or digital processing stereo receiver with a phono input. Now unfortunately there's no silver faced one or anything that's more attractive so you still get the standard black ugly brushed aluminum face. If you like that sort of thing it's fine. There is an iPod USB port for control of your iPod. Uh, it does have network interface so if you want to do Bluetooth or anything like that it is possible. The first thing you notice when you turn it on is the standard Onkyo display panel very basic you'll get about a 10 second delay before protect kicks in after the little click we get our stereo indicator now there's stereo and there's pure which basically bypasses the tone controls when you do that your little light lights up there and the display goes off just another fancy thing so we'll just go back to stereo here. It's got a standard rotary uh, encoder analog volume control, which is a very smooth transition. It's not very jerky. Now, as far as your power output, you get about 100 watts peak per channel but that's not sustained it's really about 50 watts sustained power so uh, don't expect a whole lot here they've got a dual power supply that clicks over relays down to a lower voltage secondary when currents get too high through the output stage let's take a look at the back panel fairly straightforward it does have a video pass through composite video pass through you've got your funnel input your opticals for your digital, most of your standard analog, your speakers, A and B. But here's the important thing that you won't see much. It will support a 4 ohm load. Most modern receivers start at 6 ohms. This starts at 4. That's impressive. And it will actually do that. I did test it on a 4 ohm load and it did prevail at a continuous 50 watts per channel output. It's got a preamp out, so if you want to add a subwoofer or a bigger amplifier, you can. There's your Ethernet port, your universal, your tuner, all sorts of stuff like that. Now let's take a look at the inside, and I'll show you some aspects of this that I really like. The inside is fairly well laid out. Things are easy to get to. There is no service bottom, but you can pull the main board out very easily. You've got a decently sized transformer. You've got 8200 microfarad mains power supply capacitors, which isn't bad for a 50 watt per channel. And although you're lacking in the number of output transistors per channel, only two, what you do have is a very large solid aluminum heatsink that does not share the regulators. The regulators have their own heatsink. Also, the population density of parts is pretty sparse, so there's lots of breathability and lots of room. I did notice that uh, underneath this board here is a regulated power supply with some resistors that get a little warm, but the soldering was uh, still intact even though there was some minor board discoloration. So overall this is very well made for a modern piece of equipment. It's also made in Malaysia, not China, so the quality control is probably just a little bit better than most. So we'll see how these things fare. This one's only about a year and a half old, and the reason why it came in was because it fell on the speaker jacks, so I had to replace those. But otherwise, uh, the rest of it survived fine. So you might consider in the future, uh, if you have to get a modern two-channel audio thing, uh, the Onkyo TX8050 is not a bad thing. Uh, it's not the greatest thing, but um, if you want to save some money and you just want to buy something new, this sounds okay. It's got a pretty good noise floor. Uh, it's got a good transient response. Again, continuous, it's a 50 watt per channel. Peak is 100. Uh, it's got preamp outs and all the fancy gizmachis. And if you have to have 
network capabilities and iPod control and all sorts of stuff like that, you can. So uh, take that in mind. This is the first modern piece of equipment that I've seen that's actually built okay. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Go out and check one of these things out. And uh, more stuff to come soon.